It seems like killing the man wasn't enough. No, they had to burn him too. And on the same night in another incident, a husband and father-to-be murdered and his friend now in critical condition. This community is fed up and it's had enough. We've seen enough tragedies. Young men in their prime, killed and murdered and slain. Some in front of their kids, some in front of their wives, in front of their homes, in front of schools, in front of mosques. We've even killed innocent family members just to prove a point. And for what? The streets? We've left the greatest thing on earth, which is faith, Islam, that Allah has honored us with. We've left this for the streets. Allah has honored the human being. Islam has honored the human being's life, the human being's intellect, his wealth, his honor, his lineage. Islam came to raise humanity and society. We've left this for the streets. The streets has made the human's life cheap, his wealth cheap, his intellect cheap. No value. Have we forgotten how to be men? How to be Muslims? How to be honorable human beings? Resolve our disputes by talking? Going to our parents? Going to the sheikh? Going to people of influence, people of authority? Have we forgotten all of this? Really, I have to kill? We need more kids on our streets orphaned? We need more women that are widowed? Do we need more mothers that have to live the rest of their lives with the pain and the agony of burying their own sons? Over what? To kill? To take matters into your own hands? Do you know what it means to take the life of someone? My brother, do you know what it means to take the life of someone? Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, to kill the life of one human being it is as if you have taken the life of every human being. Now we kill, it is easier in the sight of Allah that you dismantle the Kaaba brick by brick than to shed a single drop of blood of your brother. Do you know what it means to take someone's life? You're challenging Allah. Life and death belong to Allah. When you decide to take matters into your own hands, what you're saying to Allah is, Allah, you don't know how to do your job. I'm going to do it for you. You're challenging Allah, my brothers. Do you know what this means? Fir'aun challenged Allah. He decided to take the lives of the children of Banu Israel. So Allah accepted his challenge. And do you know what was the fate of Fir'aun? It will be the fate of every person who challenges Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the life of Fir'aun in front of his army, in front of his people, in front of Moses. He drowned him. Not only did he drown him, the sea rejected him. The earth rejected him. Everything he took pride in was there to witness his death and they couldn't help him, they couldn't assist him, they couldn't aid him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Pharaoh, and we shall leave your body as a sign for the rest of humanity into the day of judgment. This is what happens to those that challenge Allah. But unfortunately, we've become blind to the signs of Allah. You do not want to stand in front of Allah Azza wa on the day of judgment and you have blood on your hands. You don't want this. When will we wake up? When will we come back to the deen of Allah? Allah only wants good for you and I. The streets doesn't want this for you. The streets was designed to break you and bring you down and humiliate you in every sense of the word. Allah Azza wa Jal only wants to honor you through Islam, to honor your life, to honor your wealth, to honor your health, your intellect, Allah Azza wa Jal wants to raise us. And we've left this. For what? For what, my brothers? How many more tragedies do we have to see in front of our eyes before we change and restore our lives, restore our families, restore our communities, restore the honor, the sense of safety and security within ourselves and within our communities? Yes, we will have disputes. 
but we resolve them like honorable human beings, like men with justice, the justice of Allah, not the justice of egos. The killing has to stop. We cannot witness any more murders. And it has to stop now.